Hey guys, even here and yesterday I uploaded this photo and here you can see Phil Heat with uh, Jills Thomas, I hope I pronounced his name properly this time, and AJ Kelly. These guys are hosts at the Global Master Radio from Muscular Development and they took this photo with Phil Heat, but this is not the only photo they took, they took a bunch of photos which you can see in the previous video, but today they uploaded a footage of Phil Heat actually posing. So let me play this for you. Phil is looking great, he's looking full, he's looking big, but what is missing here? Is it his biceps? Hell no. Is it his arms overall? Nope. His chest? No. His back? No. Legs? Shoulders? No, no, nothing. Everything is there. Everything is there. But was it there in 2018? As far as I remember it was. But what wasn't there in 2018? What was the only reason why Phil Heath lost his title? It was a good normal stomach. Can we see his stomach now? We cannot. We cannot. What does it mean? It means that his stomach is probably still the same. I'm not really sure if Phil Heath is aware of his problem. I think based on all the interviews that he's done, he thinks that he lost because he wasn't a good bodybuilder, because he wasn't full enough or shredded enough, mainly not conditioned enough. Which may have been the case, but he was still more muscular than Sean and his conditioning was good enough and he would win if his stomach was fine. But it wasn't and that's the only problem that he has. Especially today, I mean after Louis Marco and all that drama with him and bubble guts, everybody's hating big stomachs now. Nobody likes a Mr. Olympia that has a huge bubble gut, quote unquote. And listen up guys, bodybuilding, it's a business, it's just a business. For us, it's not, we love it with our soul, we're passionate about it, but for Jim Mannion, it's just a business, he doesn't give a damn. It's just a business for him and what makes good business today? Definitely not the big stomach, definitely not the bubble gut. In the 90s, when the era of bubble gut started, nobody was paying attention to it, everybody was so blown away with the mass and the conditioning that bodybuilders were able to make. Then, in the early 2000s and pretty much the whole 2000s, it was frowned upon but it wasn't really as hated as it is today. Today, it's the most criticized thing. Everybody is talking about it. And look, if you are a million times better bodybuilder than the other guy, you will not lose simply because of the stomach. But if it is close, like it was in 2018, and you have a huge gut, a bubble gut, a huge messed up, horrible looking stomach, Man, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. Phil Heath is probably never gonna even hear about his channel, let alone watch this video, but if somehow it happens, and also I know I'm not an expert, I'm just a 23 year old who just likes to talk about bodybuilding, but it's so freaking obvious. It's so freaking obvious, guys. Tell me in the comment section below if you agree with me, but it's freaking obvious that that's why he lost. So Phil, if you're listening, fix the stomach. Fix the stomach and that's it, you're gonna win again. That's the only thing you need to do. And you don't have to make it perfect. It doesn't have to look like a man's physique competitor. Just do a vacuum. Surprise us all, do a vacuum. Just learn how to suck that stomach in while you're doing your poses and while you're transitioning the poses as well and just come in with a tight stomach. Just learn how to control it. And that's it. You're already big enough, man. You're huge. You have so much muscle on your frame. I mean, everything is there. Very, very complete physique. You can get conditioned like crazy. Every single thing is there. Muscle mass, completeness of the physique or conditioning, that's not a problem. That's not the problem. Just learn how to control the goddamn stomach and you're gonna win again. And I would love to see that. Phil hit winning 8 and then even 9 or even 10 Mr. Olympias, which is really possible. I mean, he's a young dude. He looks fresh. He's far away from retirement. I would hate to see him retire so young and so full of potential. He can easily become 10 times with Mr. Olympia, which was his goal originally. His goal was to retire after 220, after he has won 10 Mr. Olympias. So this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you think that I'm right, that all Phil Heath needs to fix is his stomach and stop thinking about improving his overall package, coming in bigger, fuller, more conditioned, tell me in the comment section below. If you disagree, however, tell me that. Just tell me whatever you think. And don't forget to subscribe so you are creeping at 10,000 subscribers, less than 100 subscribers away. So please subscribe, please like the video and tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. All the best guys, bye bye.